I'm Nancy Shaw with Healthy Living. As the holidays approach, sometimes we get busy with all the holiday preparation, our workouts fall by the wayside, but it doesn't have to. You can fit short workouts in a crazy day and stay on track all through the holidays. Today I'd like to show you a cardio and strength circuit you can do at home. All you need is a pair of dumbbells. We're going to do 30 second intervals, moving from one move to the next as quickly as we can. Once you complete the circuit, rest one minute and run through it once more to get a full 15 minute workout. So let's get started. First move we're gonna do is called a skater. It's pretty simple. All we're gonna do is take it from one side to the next. So we can start if you want it low impact. You don't have to do a high jump. You can stay really close to the floor. If you wanna add a little bit more intensity into it, just take a little wider, add a little bit more power. So again, 30 seconds of each move. Second move, we're going to add some dumbbells to the exercise and we're going to do a lunge back and then we're gonna come up and do a bicep curl. Alternating lunges with bicep curls. So we get legs and biceps. Again, 30 seconds with your lunge with your front bicep curls. Our third move, we're going back to a cardio move. We're gonna take it to a burpee. Everybody loves a burpee. If you have a hard time doing burpees at home, you can modify them by putting your hands on a chair and going to a burpee. So you're not taking it down as low to the floor, but you're still getting the benefits. So burpee, we're gonna take it out, jump out. You can throw in a push up if you want. Jump in, jump up. So it's out, in, push up, jump in, jump up. Everybody loves burpees. Fourth exercise, we go back to a strength move. We're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells we're gonna take it to a squat for the legs and an overhead press for the shoulders. So we're gonna start here, squat and extend overhead. Taking it as low as you feel comfortable, of course, always being careful with the knees and the back and then extending overhead to get that good shoulder workout in. Moving back to cardio, we're just gonna take it to a jump squat. So. We can reach down to the floor. I always like to tell our participants to, if you have something to reach for, you work a little harder. So reach the floor, reach up to the ceiling. So we can take it here, add a little jump, add that power. Again, if you wanna modify it, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna jump, but still use the arms up and reaching down. Back to strength. Working on the back. We're gonna grab our dumbbells. We're gonna take it to a row. With a row, we stand with our feet about shoulder width apart. I want you to really think about drawing the navel into the spine and flattening the spine. This is the one chance in life you get to stick out your tailbone. We're gonna just take it to rows. Elbows just sweeping the ribs and extending down. A different variation. If you want to change it up for the second round, you could take it to a wide row, just working the back a little different and up. All right, let's go back to our cardio move, 30 seconds. Jumping jacks, everybody can do jumping jacks. You can do full impact jacks. If you need to modify it, you're gonna take it here. Still get you that cardio workout using those arms high and low gets the heart beating fast. Strength, 30 seconds, triceps. This time we're only taking one dumbbell, unless you have lighter dumbbells. You can use two. We're just gonna grab the dumbbell on either end, taking it overhead, elbows staying close to the ears, trying to keep that chin up, of course breathing, bending at the elbow, really trying to stabilize from the elbow to the shoulder, not having a lot of movement there and down. We're almost done with our circuit. Let's go back to a cardio move. Jump lunges. I'm going to start with three pulses down. One, two, three on count four. Jump. Switch. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. And if you want to modify, what are you going to do? Two, three. Take out the jump. But you can still 
get the cardio effect by pulsing and reaching up with the arms. All right, let's move down to the floor. How about some push-ups? Everybody loves push-up, but it's such a great exercise for the chest. It works the core. A couple things we want to try to remember is to keep the eyes down to the floor. Okay, don't look up to the ceiling. And hands can go a little wider than the um, shoulders. We're just going to take it down and up. If you need to modify, we can modify by dropping one knee or two as we build strength through push-ups. And then our final move, we're just gonna go right into a plank pose. We're gonna bring the hands in a little closer, right under the shoulders. Again, we think about the spine being long, the neck just being an extension of the spine and just holding it. And if we wanted to add a variation, we could add a mountain climber, bringing our knees in, or we could add a leg lift. So there are a lot of variations for the plank move. So if you repeat that circuit one more time, it'll give you a full 15 minute workout you can do anywhere, any time of the day. For more information, you can check out all our programs online at amesparkrec.org. I'm Nancy Shaw with Healthy Living, and remember, it's never too late to get fit. Thank you.